Good morning, welcome to Living Life Juicy. I'm only about 14 hours late for my uh, live feed that I was planning on doing last night, but uh, I'm at a conference for Brandman University's uh, Doctor in uh, Education for uh, Organizational Development, Organizational Leadership, and I was asked to, I came down here to do a couple of workshops for them, and the live feed was scheduled <clears throat> right for that same time as those workshops. So I thought maybe I could sneak it in the middle. Well, it didn't exactly work out. So <clears throat> so I'm here early on a Monday morning, uh, Martin Luther King Day. Uh, make sure you go out and do something for community service to celebrate the holiday. Um, but it was kind of a juicy experience. I was doing a workshop that I usually take about two and a half hours to do. I was trying to do the same content in about an hour. And I tried to walk a very thin line between being theoretical and being practical. And what happened was I was neither. I, or I wasn't um, as clear on either side as I wish I could have been. So uh, that learned, I learned from that. It went okay, but I think I could have done better. Uh, the second workshop I did was on practical creativity and that was a lot of fun. Uh, again, I didn't stay to my normal script uh, on that one, and I really, it's this is a new population. The majority of these people are in education, um, and a lot of them were in K through 12 and administration in schools. And I haven't worked in education or higher education in a long, long time. So it was really fun <clears throat> getting to know these people and then trying to meet their needs. And that was the, my, in my mind, the biggest thing that I needed to do was get to know the people so that I could present what they needed from my content, from my material. And it was a blast. Uh, the, the people at Brandman were wonderful. They, uh, I, I came in early just so I could see what was going on and, and learn a little bit and not be so um, ignorant as I was presenting. So I spent a couple of days with these people before I presented and talked with them, met people. Uh, they're just fascinating uh, individuals who are seeking to transform their organizations. And I love that focus of this program. Their big project during their coursework is what they call a uh, TCB, TCP, Transformational Change Project. And so that's what this is all, this, this doctoral program is all wrapped around uh, transforming uh, organizations. And the way that you do that is by focusing and transforming yourself. So Lynn Hightower, Dr. Lynn Hightower invited me down here to do this, uh, it was wonderful and I had a great time. And it definitely was living life juicy because I hadn't worked with this population a long, long time. And given the theme of, of living life juicy this year, meaning being kind as I do great things or attempt to do great things, my focus was to know these people well enough so that when I spoke, I was meeting their needs. And that was the empathy and kindness aspect of this. And I think I reached that part. I wasn't as great as I hoped to be, but that's a learning point too. So uh, 14 hours late, I apologize. I hope that, uh, that my reporting of this is helping you guys understand what my journey is, the reflection piece of living life juicy uh, and just sharing my experience over the last couple of days. I'm sitting in one of the conference rooms, it's empty, and so it's kind of echoey, and uh, sitting in one of the chairs of the participants. And if that's anything, it's a lesson that was reinforced for me, that if you want to be a really good teacher, presenter, facilitator, you've got to remember what it's like to have your butt in the seat out there. And uh, I, I want to continue to try and do that uh, more and more and better and better as I get the opportunity to speak and, and teach and facilitate different groups. So this coming week, as uh, I, I have scheduled to do another uh, live podcast, uh, YouTube live video coming up next week, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that happens. But this is a promise that I, I, I'll make to you, that if something comes up about being kind or doing great things, that will supersede the, the broadcast every time. Um, so this coming week, what I'm looking at is recovery. I've been on the road uh, for almost a week. And then I'm looking forward to another long stint of travel in a couple of weeks. So I'm recovering. And that's part of living life juicy is taking care of yourself so that you can 
show up. When you show up, you're ready to perform. But also, um, sitting back, I'm in that awkward phase between journals. So I've got to uh, sit down and kind of, I, before I open up a brand new journal, uh, I like to review some guiding questions that I use on a daily basis. And basically, it's just, so before I go into a meeting, I want to think through how do I want to be present in that meeting. And it has to do with listening. It has to do with asking questions. It has to do with offering rather than uh, bulldozing my, my thoughts and advice out there. But I have a whole list of uh, questions or points that I like to keep in the front of my journal so that I'm constantly reminded uh, of my intentions and what I want to be. I'm not one of these big people who put stuff on mirrors all over the place or, or uh, has quotes, whatever. But I do find having just some gentle reminders in my journal or maybe on a three by five card, it's very helpful to remind me what, I, what my values are and what I'm supposed to be about. So that's my challenge for this week. I hope you're joining me in this journey, even just to watch me fumble around, succeed, fail, and move forward. Uh, but I hope you're taking some challenges too, and I hope you're attempting to be kind as you do great things. Have a great week.